Hello dear students, uh, today we will be discussing about a problem that is uh, of finding the distance between the circumcenter and in center of a triangle. Now in the construction, let me just go through the construction once again like you see that ABC is the triangle that we are considering and uh, AIM is the band internal bisector of angle A and BI is the internal bisector of angle B so you can see that A by 2 A by 2 B by 2 B by 2 and uh, naturally these two bisectors will be meeting at the in center of the triangle and O is the circumcenter of the triangle that is O is the center of this particular circle and we need to find the distance between I and O that is the distance between the circumcenter and in center now uh, the construction that is followed is that O and I are joined to cut the circles uh, at uh, X and Y okay and uh, The point M is uh, joined with the circumcenter and extended to meet uh, the circle at N. So N is the other end point of the diameter, MN. And this N is uh, joined with B to create uh, BN. Now let's see that first of all, uh, quickly we can confirm this uh, that uh, you see that this angle is A by 2. Okay. And this angle is subtended uh, by the segment MC. So, since MAC will be equal to MBC because these are the angles on the same segment. So, since MAC equal to A by 2, so MBC is also A by 2. So, this angle is A by 2 and this angle is B by 2. So, we can say that angle IBM, okay, so angle IBM is coming out to be angle IBM is coming out to be a plus b by 2 and uh, which will be equivalent to angle b i m because you see b i m is the external angle that will be the sum of the two internal angle so these are the internal angle a by 2 and b by 2 so external angle will be the sum of the internal angle so this is also equivalent to angle b i m okay so angle i b m uh, is equal to angle IBM is equal to angle BIM. So from here we can easily say that BM must be equal to IM. Okay, they should be equal because the opposite angles are equal. Now you see that in this circle we can definitely write down that AI into IM must be equal to xi into yi okay that can definitely be written for the circle ai into im is equal to xi into yi so this can further be written as ai into im now im is uh, nothing but equal to bm so ai into bm is equal to xi now xi is nothing but uh, ox minus oi and yi is nothing but o y plus oi okay ox minus oi will give you xi and yi is very clearly oi plus oi now we can see that since o is the circum radius so naturally oi will be the circum uh, o is the circum center sorry so OI will be the circum radius and OX will be also the circum radius which is capital R. Okay, so it will become R minus OI into R plus OI. So it is coming out to be R square minus Y square. Okay, and now let's consider upon what about AI into BM. So for that, uh, let us concentrate on the figure like uh, we can check out that triangle 
another small thing is done that is from the in center we have dropped a perpendicular on the side AB and that foot of perpendicular is L. Now from in center if I drop a perpendicular on a side uh, so that perpendicular distance should become equal to the in radius of the triangle so IEL equal to R that is the in radius of the triangle. Now let us see from the figure that triangle AIL will become similar to triangle NBM okay because you can check out that in triangle AIL what is happening in triangle AIL you see that this angle is 90 degree this is A by 2 okay and in triangle NBM what is happening you see that NM is a diameter of the circle right because it is passing through the center so NM is a diameter so naturally the diameter will be subtending 90 degree at the circumference so we can say that NBM is equal to 90 degree so NBM equal to 90 degree and this angle is equal to A by 2 because these two are angles subtended on the same segment BI. So if this is A by 2, so this angle is also A by 2. So in triangle NBM, you can see that this angle is A by 2 and this total angle is 90 degree. So these two triangles has to be similar to each other. So since they are similar, so we can write down that um, you see that in this true triangle this is 90 degrees so opposite to 90 we are having the side length AI and in the triangle NBM opposite to 90 angle NBM is 90 so opposite to 90 we have got the side length NM so in this triangle opposite to 90 side length is AI in this triangle opposite to 90 it is NM so we can write down AI by NM equal to now in the small triangle opposite to a by 2 opposite to the angle a by 2 you have got the side length which is il that is small r and in this bigger triangle uh, opposite to a by 2 you have got the side length bm so similarly we can write down this is equal to il by bm so cross multiplying we can write down ai into bm okay so basically this quantity is equal to il into nm now from the figure we can check out that il is nothing but uh, the circumradius a in radius of the triangle and nm being a diameter can be written to be two times the circumradius so it will become r into 2 capital r so we can equate ultimately these two quantity so capital R square minus OI square is equal to 2 capital R small r so from here OI square can be said to be capital R square minus 2 capital R small r so the distance between circumcenter and in center will come out to be square root of R square minus 2 capital R small r okay so this is the final result this is the distance between the circumcenter and in center of any triangle where capital R will become the circumradius and small r is the in radius of the triangle. So thank you very much for watching the video. You can email me or contact me for any kind of doubt or queries and in the meantime please subscribe on YouTube channel and like us on Facebook to get